Ich bin Andreas Felber, ORF TV Sport. Herr Fiese, gestern das Konzert noch gewesen. Coach, yesterday there was the concert. Uh, there was a very good atmosphere, very joyful. How, joyful. How was the atmosphere today? And um, does the presence of Konrad Leimer at this stage now mean that he's captain also? Or doesn't it mean anything? And the first question, what's Stuart? Yes, atmosphere was great. Everybody's fit. Connie will be in the starting 11, but uh, there's no report that he's sitting here that he will be captain tomorrow. Also, Peter Linden, der nächste, bitte aufs Mikrofon warten. Have you just said that he won't be captain? Yes. I just attended the French press conference and 97% of the press conference, they were talking about politics, not about Austria, not about Baumgartner. Can a team who, who's agitated like that can still focus on such a tournament? I don't know. I didn't attend the press conference. I'm only interested in what's happening with our team. Uh, and that's why I can't and won't say anything about that. Connie, the next question. What happened to you guys during those last few days at Berlin uh, during the preparation to, towards the match against Frankreich, uh, France? Well, that's what we're doing every time. We analyze the opponent. We think about how we can get our match plan through. That's uh, what we focused on. We have a super site here in Berlin. We moved in uh, into our premises here with the ÖFB. The staff uh, really thought it out very well. We are super well prepared. And now we're here and we are really looking forward to uh, starting tomorrow. Hello, my name is Emmanuel Barnguet. I'm working for Agence France Presse. This is a question to the coach. We, we spoke um, with uh, Dayo Upamecano, and he told uh, very nice words to you. He said you are very important for him. And please, I will ask you, what do you think of Dayo Upamecano and what he became, uh, how he became a strong player? Thank you. Yeah, we have... Yeah. Well, there are two players in the French national team who also played with uh, Connie, I think, with Konrad Leimer, with Ibrahima Konate and uh, Dayo Upamecano. Back uh, in the time when they played together in those one or two years, they were the youngest central defenders in Europe, uh, definitely in Germany, but probably also in Europe. And from my perspective, also one of the best, or two of the best. Back then, uh, we uh, took in Dayo when he was 16 or 17 years old, and Ibrahim Konate, uh, without paying a fee from Socho, we took him from Socho, I think back then he cost uh, 2.7 or 2.8 millions. When you know what happened to him, uh, you know that that was really a great deal back then. Both are really great lads, not only as footballers, but also as human beings, as personalities. They have a strong personality both, and that's why I'm looking forward to see both of them tomorrow. But uh, we still want to win the match tomorrow. Mr. Rangnick, which factors need to come into play tomorrow so that Austria can make the sensation tomorrow? Well, I think we already talked about it before yesterday. I guess you attended this press conference two days ago. I think you heard it, and there's no great sense in repeating all that, that we play against one of the big, maybe the biggest favorite of the tournament. We are playing against the vice world champion and definitely the nation 
which has uh, definitely the best group and the best uh, forwards. So we need to play at our best level. We know that, uh, that's for sure. That is crucial tomorrow, that we will be courageous, um, that we are convinced of our own strength. And uh, it will be uh, really crucial the way that we perform tomorrow and not the way that France plays uh, a little bit better or a little bit worse than they play usually. It's only about us. Uh, question, did you see the first match in this group? Um, and uh, how do you see the result? No, I didn't see it because we were already in the coach and we also had a few problems with the traffic, so I didn't see the match, but uh, it doesn't matter really because we're really focused uh, on the match against France and after that we have still enough time to analyze uh, Poland. Coach, you have so much experience in football, you lived so many moments, you said you love this team, you even renounced being a coach for Bayern Munich. Now you have this Euro in your home country, what does it mean for you personally, uh, emotionally, uh, um, yeah, where is it in your personal career? Yeah, very high, actually, because we prepared for over two years for this day tomorrow. We had a very long qualifying um, period. Uh, we were qualified quite uh, early, and we then drew the strongest group um, for us. Uh, and as Connie just said, tomorrow it's finally starting for us. We are really excited. We are really looking forward to it. And that's uh, the same for me. So there's joy above everything else. But we also have the ambition to uh, qualify ourselves for the knockout stage. How high up is it in your personal ranking to play this Euro? It doesn't really make sense uh, to do those rankings. I'm a coach for 40 years. The first station in my career was uh, in my home club 40 years ago. And back then I was really, really happy when we uh, um, uh, got up uh, for the first time and the second time then. And uh, Connie just told me the last time uh, when we were here uh, with Leipzig, we won 4-1. Uh, Connie scored one and prepared one goal. And I told him, well, then you know what you have to do tomorrow. A question for the coach. One hour before the match, we will hear the formation, the starting 11. When do your players learn the starting 11 and how long, for how much time do you know it already? The players know already the formation, the starting 11. We had a final practice today and usually the players know after the final training uh, the way that we want to play. Then we had uh, one or two ideas, uh, one or two uh, thoughts, uh, decisions that I took yesterday and the team knows how we Conrad, we already mentioned the French press conference, which was mostly about politics. Could this be an advantage for you guys that the opponent is maybe not that concentrated, uh, maybe didn't analyze that much Austria? or maybe it could be also misleading and they know exactly what they are up against. Well, I think as our coach already said, we look on ourselves, we focus on ourselves and what the opponent is doing. We don't really care. I personally don't care. We know what we want. We know what we want to do tomorrow. And we look at ourselves and the rest, yeah, it's really only important what we show on the pitch. Just a question for Ralph. <coughs> um, apologies if you can answer it too late, but how do you assess the challenge of facing Kylian Mbappe and trying to set him? Yeah. <coughs> Einer der beiden besten Stürmer, die es zurzeit gibt, ich sage sogar auf der Welt, nicht nur in Europa. 
well, one of the two best forwards in the world, I'd say, not only Europe. We know his strengths, we know his quality, but we know that he's only one of 11 players on the pitch. And uh, with our style of playing, we have to counter him and the whole French team. We have to make sure that he doesn't receive so many balls that he like to have. And uh, all the rest, we already said, we know about the strengths, about the quality of the opponent, but we know from our own strengths that we can win this match. Mr. Leimer, with Bayern, you didn't win a title this year. Maybe this is an extra motivation to play an extra good Euro with Austria, or doesn't it play any role for this tournament? No, actually, it doesn't play any role. I'm here with the national team. We have our own goals, uh, very precise goals that we want to reach. And I'm, uh, anyway, the type of guy who always wants to win. So, yeah, with all the ups and downs during this season, uh, it wasn't really nice, but uh, I'm here to win matches and uh, to prevail in a strong group, and then we see what happens. Conny, what were your experience like against Kamavinga in the matches against Real? Well, as we said, France has such a great group, so many individual talents. If you would name, if you'd name uh, everybody of them, uh, we'd speak uh, for the whole evening. But it's not about that. I think tomorrow it's about putting our own football on the pitch. We know if we can make that, we can hurt any, we can make suffer any opponent, and that's really crucial that uh, when you play against teams such as France, uh, that you have to take uh, the superstars out and that you stay calm when you control, when you uh, possess the ball in order to become dangerous, that you need an extraordinary performance in order to do that uh, is for sure. But we know that we are able to. We prepared for such a long time for this and you can feel that uh, such a Euro is something really particular in your neighbor country, a country where many of our players are already playing for so many years and living there also. So this excitement, we take it on the pitch tomorrow and we want to show our face as a team and uh, the way that we can play football. So I don't see any other hands. So I thank you for your attention, your questions, and I wish you a nice evening. Goodbye.